Asteroids, the real threat. The future survival of our planet will inevitably come down to human intervention. If we don't end up destroying ourselves in a nuclear apocalypse, we will have to save ourselves from two objects. Those two objects are asteroids Apophis and Bennu. If humans don't stop these two objects, they will eventually impact our planet. Apophis has a potential for impact in 2036, while Bennu will hit our planet with 90% certainty in the year 2182, in fact. On September 24, 2182, if humanity takes no steps to prevent it and the odds line up, it will hit the surface of the Earth at a velocity of Mach 36. Bennu is the size of the Empire State Building. This is an extinction-level event. And in 160 years or so, humanity will be forced to unite for the greater effort of saving the world. Wait till you hear this. NASA have already spent billions collecting samples from asteroid Bennu and returning them safely to the Earth. That mission, OSIRIS-REx. It returned to Earth on September 24, 2023 and dropped off material from asteroid Bennu. The spacecraft didn't land but continued on to a new mission, OSIRIS Apex, to explore asteroid Apophis. Meanwhile, scientists hope that Bennu sample, OSIRIS Rex, dropped into the Utah desert, will offer clues as to how the object can be obliterated in the future. Billions of years ago, others like it may have delivered the chemicals that make up the biomolecules in our cells, the water we drink, and the air we breathe. Today, scientists are interested in Bennu because of the major threat it poses. If it hits Earth, its path will blaze through the atmosphere many times brighter than the midday sun. The impact will release a blast of energy equivalent to 1,450 megatons of TNT. To put that in perspective, the total energy expended during all nuclear testing throughout history is estimated to be 510 megaton. Bennu's crash landing would triple that in an instant. In some respects, the Earth would hardly register such an event. The orbit and axis would remain unperturbed. In other respects, arguably more permanent ones, the consequences would be devastating. Bennu's impact would create a crater four miles wide and half a mile deep. It would trigger a magnitude 7 earthquake. Approximately 15 seconds after impacts, areas within 10 miles of the crash would experience an air blast driven by Bennu's hypersonic path through the atmosphere and massive energy released at the surface. The wind would be 20 times more powerful than a Category 5 hurricane. The sound wave would be louder than an orchestra of air raid sirens blaring from every direction. Curious onlookers would flock to their windows to view the fireball, would be greeted with a barrage of fragments as the glass imploded. Residential homes would be flattened, the few survivors determined by location and random luck. Office buildings and highway bridges would twist, distort, and ultimately collapse. Trees would be blown down, those that somehow managed to remain upright would be stripped of their branches and leaves. After another 15 seconds, still well under a minute after Bennu's initial impact, fragments of earth and rock that had been violently excavated would rain down upon the damaged area. The largest rocks the Bennu sent flying would be the size of 16-story buildings. If the asteroid struck a major population center, the loss of life would be staggering. The sun would be blocked out for months and maybe even years. Plants would die, food resources would be extinct, and this will also lead to a major depopulation of humans. Bennu's orbit brings it extremely close to our planet. As well, Apophis, it is this proximity that gives us a chance to determine whether we should prepare for disaster. But what do you guys think about this anyway? Comments below and thank you for watching.